So after reading the title of this video, you're probably wondering, how is James Harden the modern day Karl Malone? And if you give me a few minutes, I'm pretty sure I can prove to you guys that James Harden is the modern day Karl Malone. And when I say that, I'm not talking about play style. Harden and Malone play completely different play styles. James Harden, he operates a three point line and drives in for all the shots. And Karl Malone operates out of the post and the mid range. So I'm not comparing their play styles. I'm comparing their overall legacies as players and what they kind of meant to the game and how they were perceived by fans. And what kind of inspired me to make this video was a tweet from Ball's Life where they quoted Nick Wright as saying, James Harden is the best player in NBA history to not have a championship ring. And they listed some all time greats below who didn't have championships, and Karl Malone was not one of those players. Which kind of got me thinking how similar Karl Malone and James Harden career paths are, and how similar their legacies are gonna be. And it really got me thinking is James Harden the modern day Karl Malone? So my goal in this video is to kind of convince you guys that right now at this moment in time, James Harden is heading down the career path of Karl Malone. And if he never wins a championship ring, he will be mentioned with the likes of Karl Malone, Charles Barkley, George Gervin, Allen Iverson, Dominic Wilkins, and all the other NBA legends who weren't able to win championship rings. In this video, I'm gonna to try to convince you guys and prove to you that James Harden is the modern day Karl Malone. So just give me a few minutes to make my case. By the end of the video, I'm pretty sure I'll have you convinced. Karl Malone and James Harden are both great regular season players. From 1987 to 2002, Karl Malone averaged 26.7 points per game, 10.4 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and shot 52% from the field, and he won two MVPs in that span. He also averaged over 25 points per game 11 straight seasons, and he averaged over 20 points per game all of those seasons. Now, since James Harden's been traded to the Houston Rockets, he's averaged 29.5 points per game, 7.7 .7 assists, 6.0 rebounds, and 44.3% from the field, and he's won one MVP in that time. So, as you can tell, James Harden and Karl Malone are both great regular season players. They put up huge numbers, and they also win a couple of MVPs. They're also the best players at their position for their time period, which is a very interesting similarity. The next similarity is that they both put on some great regular season teams, Karl Malone has been a part of 10 50 plus win teams and three 60 plus win teams. So far in James Harden's career, he's been part of seven teams that have won 50 games or more and two teams that have won 60 games or more. And both these players have played with some all time great point guards, Karl Malone playing basically his whole career with John Stockton and James Harden playing with Russell Westbrook and Chris Paul. And both these guys have had some pretty good all time coaches who really weren't able to win the big one, similar to the players themselves. James Harden is playing with Mike D'Antoni currently, and Karl Malone playing for Jerry Sloan. I would take Jerry Sloan over Mike D'Antoni any day, but both these guys have had some really good coaches and some really good point guards to play with, so that only further illustrates the similarities in both these guys' legacies and both their careers. Now, my next point is that both these players struggled to take their team over the top and beat some of the all-time great teams in their conference. Karl Malone losing to the Portland Trailblazers led by Clyde Drexler, the Phoenix Suns by Charles Barkley, Sean Kemp and Gary Payton Sonics, and Akeem Olajuwon's Rockets. Now, Karl Malone was able to overcome the Western Conference in 1997-1998, but early on he was not able to beat Akeem Olajuwon's Rockets, and they actually did lose in the first round of the Rockets, which was very disappointing considering the Jazz had won 60 games that season, and were looked at as one of the premier title contenders. So that only furthers the point that Karl Malone, he could never really overcome another superstar, and as we know in the 97-98 Finals, he couldn't overcome Michael Jordan the Bulls. And after those two finals, it kind of sealed his legacy. And he had to go to the Lakers and kind of cheat for a ring. And we all know how that worked out. The Lakers got stomped by Detroit in the finals. And Karl Malone really was the fourth option. And he was hurt in that series. Now, James Harden has had his share of playoff low moments. We have the block by Mono Ginobili, where the Rockets really should have beaten that Spurs team. More experienced and really more poised down the stretch. And over these past two years, I think the Rockets and James Harden, they really should have made the finals at least one time. They had a game six on their home court this past season without Kevin Durant. And Steph Curry had zero points in the first half. And the Rockets led by James Harden were not able to pull that game out. And that does reflect on James Harden as a leader. Whether that's fair or not, you are supposed to win that game and get that series over with. And we all know the game seven in 2018, where they missed 27 threes, an NBA record for a game seven. And I mean, even that series, I know Harden was going against a dynasty Warriors team, arguably the greatest team of all time, kind of like Malone 98-97. But I mean, fair or unfair, it does reflect on James Harden that he was not able to beat that Warriors team in a game seven in his building. And both these players, they just have so many playoff flaws. You can point to Karl Malone missing crucial free throws in game one of the 97 finals. And you can just look at James Harden not showing up in huge moments 
He has the infamous game where he had under 10 points against the Spurs in the closeout game, where he absolutely did not show up. He has gotten better in the playoffs, and this past year I've kind of been waiting for him to have his signature moment. He really hasn't had that yet, but I'm holding out hope this year. But I really do hope he breaks through the season. Last postseason was kind of disheartening. Him losing to that Warriors team the way they did, with the circumstances surrounding that Warriors team, they were banged up without Kevin Durant. So I hope I made my case and convinced you guys that James Harden, from a legacy perspective, is the modern day Karl Malone. And I'll just go over my points real quick. James Harden and Karl Malone are both great regular season players. They're both really prolific scorers. They played on some great teams led by some great coaches. They were both the best player in the league at their position and they could never overcome those great teams and win the big one. So I do understand this comparison is kind of weird, and it kind of is hard to get over comparing a shooting guard to a power forward, but once you get past that, I hope you guys realize, from a legacy perspective, James Harden and Karl Malone, it's about as close as you can get. They're both really great players, but they're kind of missing that last piece that really takes a player over the top and makes them a championship caliber player. I'm still holding out hope for James Harden, I said before. I don't think the Rockets won a championship this year, but maybe in the near future, they can kind of build a roster around Harden and retool them. But right now, I think James Harden, his career path is heading down the road of Karl Malone, Charles Barkley, etc. And the last thing I'll say is I think Karl Malone is the best player in NBA history, all time not have a ring. I think James Harden could pass him without winning a championship, but at this moment, I think Karl Malone ranks higher than James Harden all time. He does have the two MVPs and the two finals appearances, compared to James Harden's one MVP and one finals appearance. And for that one finals appearance, James Harden he kind of was the third option, coming off the bench being the sixth man. But I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility that James Harden will someday pass Carmelo in all time. That day is just not today. And I mean, I really am hoping the best for James Harden. I don't see the Rockets winning a championship, but I mean, you never know what can happen. The playoffs are crazy and the Western Conference is really stacked this year. But at this moment, James Harden is the modern day Carl Malone.